What is up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Living Lorcana, the channel where we're all about that Lorcana life. Today we're gonna get into a couple new products. Um, I was lucky enough to get my hand on a Winnie the Pooh play mat. When uh, Ravensburger and the Disney store went live, I had my computer and my phone just smashing the refresh button as fast as I could. Sites crashing left and right, so I was only able to order one because every time I went back and got greedy and tried to add two, the maximum, it was like, hmm, I think we're gonna crash again on you and you're pretty much gonna be out of luck and not get anything. So I took what I could get. We're gonna be ripping this bad boy open today, showing it off so you guys at home can see what it looks like. And I believe our new play mat's going to be here next week, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, let's just stop talking and get into product. The playmat is pretty slick. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Honey Wizard. Obviously there's a card for it, but this playmat is, it's pretty dope. I love it. Uh, I, we were just gonna hang on to it and keep it on the wall. One of those like, oh, look at what we got. It's super beautiful. I say we put it to use today and get right into something that I've been impatiently hanging on to. Some chapter one cards. Yesterday we ripped open a case of Floodborne, zero enchanted, but we did pull a couple good cards that we've already traded off today. Uh, yeah, we've been hunting enchanted and coming up short. All our luck happened off camera, so I'm hoping we change that today. Here's what a chapter one booster box looks like. The code on the bottom, a lot of people are going nuts for these codes. Some of them will tell you if it's the very first print, which contains the errata cards or pre-errata. I can't keep up with the lingo. Um, let's just leave it here on display. I don't know, we'll do it something like that. Like I said, I've always had the best luck getting into the bottom of the box, but let's see what this booster brings us. All of our big trades for Elsa have fallen through, so things have gotten somewhat depressing on our end, but we're still holding strong. Fingers crossed we can pull something great. Magic Broom, Kristoff, Captain, Flynn Rider, Poisoned Apple Rare, Grab Your Sword Rare, I needed that for a deck, that's awesome, and the dupe for our foil. So I've got two decks that I'm currently building. I think I've said it before, there's no really local play here. So I've been trying to play, I wanna say it's Pixelborn is a online site you can actually play uh, Orkana on, or it's a, I guess it's an app I downloaded. Uh, kind of buggy, but it's working and giving me a chance to kind of learn my decks, what I wanna play. Again, hopefully people locally will play. Because if you saw the, the press article that was released about the prizes that are gonna be available for tournaments, there's a Stitch Enchanted for winning tournaments and a custom play mat. And I'm all about unique merch. Awesome, John Silver for the legendary pull and the foil Maleficent Uninvited. Those are awesome hits. Let's keep it rolling. Is anyone out there playing? What's your favorite deck? I wanna say mine was a Steel Sapphire. I shouldn't even try and guess. I just need to look at them again. I've handled way too many cards in the past few days. Simba, Jafar, Fire the Cannons, another Captain, Befuddle. This is one of those uh, Rada cards, the error cards. I think this is post, so it's been fixed. Cruella for the rare, actually we're gonna be a perfectionist over here. Our legendaries aside, Maurice and you know, I swear I see the doctor everywhere I open cards. I'm not feeling lucky today. I don't know what it is. The trades have fallen through. I'm down on my luck. I need something to turn around here. A Lounder, Tangle, Sebastian, Tinkerbell, Simba, Triton. Goofy, Lilo, part of your world, that's an awesome rare. And a spectacular singer for the super rare and another Maleficent foil. Is anyone collecting foils? How painfully wonderful is that going for you? 
We just got our hands, well, in one of the first few episodes, we got our hands on the Rapunzel gifted with healing foil, which was not cheap. The wardrobe, Cerberus. We pulled so many cards. I gave one to my six-year-old, and he, I don't, there's only one card of Lorcana that he owns that is 100% his, and it's Cerberus, and I see that card around the house everywhere I go. Dr. Facilier and Marshmallow for the super rare. Ah, we are striking out with these foils. But we're only six packs in. Can't give up yet. What are some of your guys' favorite hits? I'm very curious what everyone's pulled. Some of the people on the Facebook groups today, one of them's been messaging back and forth with me while he was ripping packs and we're trying to work out a trade. And within 30 minutes, he pulled an Enchanted Alice. What else did he pull? He pulled Alice and Pete. So both foils, I, or Enchanted's I really want to get my hands on. Jafar for the rare, Sword of Truth for the rare, and Jetson for the foil. So yeah, there are Enchanted cards out there. They're not here, apparently, in front of me, but they're out there. So hopefully you guys are having luck hitting them. I was on a hot streak and I feel like that's definitely ended. But who knows, that could all turn around today. I'll do my best not to lose my mind and knock all the equipment over. Tinkerbell, Giant Fairy. Yes, I will take that all day long. And Horus for the foil. That Tinkerbell card is awesome in gameplay. And I believe that gives me a fourth one now. So coming along with our deck. Mufasa, Timon, Tinkerbell, Prince Eric, Dragonfire. Do it again. Story of my life, having a child. Clean it once, clean it twice. Scar, that's a cool foil. Mickey Mouse, true friend. It is just, I don't know, I just love the, the foils they've done here. The colors, uh, Disney, I feel like Disney can not can do no wrong. I'm a huge Marvel fan, so the Marvel Cinematic Universe has, has consumed me. I don't even want to admit how many times I watched Endgame or Infinity War in theaters. Ditch for the rare, Mickey Mouse for the rare, and the foil, Cerberus. Looks like my kid's gonna get another Cerberus so that I can just keep finding that around the house. Man. So these, uh, this first chapter booster box that I'm ripping out of, all of the ones I currently own have been purchased from random people on the Facebook groups or picked up locally. I actually found one locally on uh, the Facebook marketplace. I think the guy was hanging on to it to flip, and I lucked out and bought it right before everything skyrocketed. Yay me! Finally won one. Ursula Shell Necklace, Steal from the Rich, and Jasper Foil. I'm saying I finally won one because I was finally scammed the other day. I paid Venmo Goods and Services which is not the same protection as PayPal goods and services. So like I stated in previous videos, just stick with PayPal goods and services or meet up in person if it's an option safely. And we've already shown you how to check for fake cards. So remember that. Doctor. Oh, Bell Strange but Special. That is an awesome enchanted. And the foil is Iago, the loud mouthed. Man, that Bell Strange is special. It's a great card. So two legendaries so far. There's gotta be, we gotta have something big in here. There's gotta be something big. We need a Maleficent foil, the Monstrous Dragon. We need an Enchanted. We need something. I'm so desperate now, even if it's a double or a triple of something I've already gotten, I'll take it for Enchanted. Hades. Ooh, wrong card. Man. Struggle is real with chapter one for me right now. Are there any cards you guys are chasing out there? Hit me up. Let's work out a trade. 
Obviously, I've got a lot of cards, and I'm two minutes away from a post office, so I'm in a great place to do trades. Tamatoa, we're not allowed to sing the shiny song in my house because it just gives my wife the creeps. Robin Hood, super rare, and freeze for the foil. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna start crying. I did open two boxes of Paldean Fates with my kid the other day. His Pokemon fix was met. And some of those hollows in there looked amazing. And I'm running around screaming, thinking we hit it big. TCG player said, otherwise. Said, wow, way to lose your mind over a $1.25 card, Nate. Good job. Let it go. Ooh, Mickey Mouse, Artful Rogue. And the foil is another. Yes! Okay, now we're we're getting somewhere, guys. That's going straight to a sleeve, because that's that's something we needed. Also, that's super weird. When when does this ever happen? If it wasn't on video, I wouldn't have believed it. So Mickey's going to the side. Alright, let's keep this keep the momentum going. I'm feeling good. Feeling real good. So far, we've recorded, this will be the fifth episode recorded, and I go back and watch them, realizing things we should change, things we should do. I noticed we didn't have any background music in the first three. I was like, it's oddly quiet, what are we missing? And I watched, yes, I needed this so bad for my deck. Uh, I was watching other videos, I'm like, what are they doing that we're not? And there's like suspenseful background music where I'm like getting anxiety, like, is he gonna get the card? Is he gonna find it? So, I, like I said, I'm usually watching Poke Rev or Pokeball. I haven't, if you know of somebody ripping Lorcana, other than the little YouTube shorts, please send me a link. I would love to watch other people constantly learning and trying to bring new ideas to the table. Anything we can do to keep the channel interesting and fun. I'd let my kid get in here and rip some packs, but oh my goodness, the way he handles cards, we would have to put, I don't, I, I won't let him even look or touch anything unless it's in like a penny sleeve and a top loader and I'm hovering over him like a helicopter parent because my goodness, he just wants to smash things I feel like. To the point where we've had to order him some fake cards just so he, it, when he's trying to take them to school and give them away or lose them or trade them for candy, I'm like, buddy, you're not gonna take this. This is one of your best pulls. Let's, let's keep it safe. So, good old kids. I love him to death. All right, the rare and another legendary. We've got like four of him. And stolen scimitar is the foil. We're getting down to the bottom of the box. Oh man. I think Mickey and Belle are probably my favorite pulls right now and Tinkerbell. We'll give her, we'll give her some love. I'm more infatuated with the, yeah, who you can, you can keep your eyes open and check us out. You can be a part of the fun. Gaston, Hakuna Matata, Hercules, Gravitala. It's fun watching the Disney movies with my kid now because constantly, ooh, be prepared. Another killer card if you're if you're battling. Work together. I actually have the foil with the error. This one says Pacha. The other one says Pasha. S H. Fun fact. I know there's a handful of error cards. And I probably need to go through all my stuff and make sure I keep them separate before I accidentally just sell them off or do them in a small trade. We actually moved a lot of cards today. Uh, sold quite a few cards so that we can fund chapter three, which, gosh, we're three weeks and a couple days away from. And I've hounded the ever living crap out of my local, nice, Taka, my local. Game stores, Mickey Mouse, Wayward Sorcerer, and the Foils Mini. Uh, hounded them to hold product for me. I will sell my soul and give them shout outs, whatever they need, to uh, guarantee that I get to rip something because I'm done trying my luck with Target and Walmart. I keep seeing people post pictures of these Target stores and it's ridiculous. Our Target looks like there was a, a hurricane ran through and everyone just stocked up on supplies. Like the shel shelves are bare. I'm gonna go out of my way to go to our Target just to take a photo so I can post it in this episode if I have time. Because it's bad. 
and embarrassing. Ooh, Lilo, making a wish. Awesome card. And Beast, hard headed. Uh, they restock every Thursday. That's something, that's another tip. If you're trying to get your hand on product, show up, ask the employees. 80% of them have no idea what's going on. They just show up, move around a little bit, and then go home. But some of them will tell you when the person stocking comes so you can stock the stalker. You can be a stalker stalker. Uh, I feel guilty when I show up right around the time she's stocking the shelves. Uh, she, I wanna say it's Thursdays, like 11 or 10, and I'll show up and I'll kind of peek around the corner. I don't wanna be obnoxious, like hovering over while she's just trying to unbox things and do her job. Stitch Rockstar, nice, I wanted that really bad. And Befuddle. Uh, yeah, she's great. She recognizes me now. I'll just go hang out and because it's right next to like the books where they keep all the cards. So I'll just start reading random books until she's pretty close to done or she puts out what I'm looking for. Half the time she'll just ask me. Our Walmarts don't stock anything. They have a they have a sticker that shows Lorcana Lorcana packs. They've never shown up. Or if they did, somebody beat me to it, but I know they're every Friday. Nothing ever gets stocked anymore. So my best bet is local game stores, driving an hour away to another one, or online trades. Hans is the super rare Tamatoa. Not allowed to sing that song. And every time I see the card, I just want to start singing Shani. But it really does creep my wife out. All right, last three packs. We'll save the Elsa. Maybe it'll be good luck. We need an Enchanted. This channel is hurting for an Enchanted. What do we got? Horus, Jasmine, Elsa. Not the Elsa that I want. Please help us. The rare, Iago, super rare Maximus, and fire the cannons. Man, this box would have looked better on the shelf, I feel like, as part of a collection. Oh, you're killing me. All right, give us some love. Genie, Aurora, Tib, Stitch. Let's go. I'm not trying to be rude and just rip through these cards, but I really want to see what we've got. And the foil. Be ah, oh, that's an awesome foil. Okay. I'm definitely hitting some of my missing chapter one foils, but the pulls from this have been painful. I think these are now going for 190, 190 a box. This would have been better saved. All right, last pack magic. I didn't kiss it, I didn't do any cool things, so now if nothing comes out of this, just blame me. Moana for the rare. And the, okay, and the foil, Pongo. Oh, this is what defeat looks like, looks and feels like. All right, I'll go, old boy. Thank you, you've been great. Well, that about does it for the chapter one booster box that broke my heart. I don't really have a whole lot of words. We're gonna be back again with another episode. Uh, cut, take two. Thank you all for tuning in and checking out today's episode where we ripped through a really sad first chapter booster box. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll figure out where those buttons are gonna go. Like and subscribe. And we're, like I said, we're gonna be doing giveaways. We've obviously got a lot of cards that need a new home because if I take up any more space in my wife's office area, I'm gonna have to go build a second tiny home for just my Lorcana addiction. Did we pull any of your favorite cards today? Give me a shout out, let me know what it was. Maybe it'll end up in the mailbox for you. Um, if you're liking these videos, please share with your friends, your, I don't know, let's spread the word. I'm gonna keep making them. Even if I'm the only one watching them, I'm gonna keep making them because this is my excuse for opening all these packs. And I think it's the only reason my wife lets me do it, she thinks. She thinks that I have this huge following. Let's not disappoint her. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you next time.